Hey guys, welcome to Amity Tracks. About two times a year, people like me get all a, a Twitter about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The first time is when the nominees are announced. That's actually more fun because there's still a lot of speculation and whatnot. And then the other time is when the actual inductees are announced from those nominees. And that happened, I guess, when this video is going up, uh, however many days ago, a few days. And so, yeah, it's time to talk about that. And, you know, if, if, if you're interested in sort of how the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame works, you know, the voting and, and the whole structure and all that, you know, go check out some of the previous videos on this subject. If you go into the playlist, I think we've got a Rock Hall section. But let's go ahead and talk about who got in, who didn't out of this nominee list. So we'll focus on the performers first. Now, there were 14 nominees and half of them, so seven got in, and then seven did not. So they still out there for future nominations. You know, it's kind of interesting, seven and seven. You compare the list that got in and that did not. I, ah, man, it's, it's hard to decide which list is actually the stronger list. So the ones who got in, George Michael. Who, yeah, I'm fine with that. You know, George Michael, uh, huge, you know, artist and really, really in pop music more than anything else. But no, I'm fine with that. I, I mean, a lot of it depends on how you feel about the Rock Hall. And, and if you accept, like I have, that it's a very broad definition and it's really just sort of popular music. And, you know, they'll even let a lot of people in from other genres if there's some sort of connection or influence. And yeah, George Michael's fine with me. Willie Nelson, totally fine with. I know country music primarily, but uh, I don't know. With, with the outlaw country, I think has influenced enough people. He sort of transcends the genre. And I mean, if hell, if Dolly Parton got in last year and Johnny Cash has been in for a long time, why not Willie, right? And, you know, Icon just turned 90. Missy Elliott, now she's a little bit outside of my wheelhouse, but my understanding, the biggest selling rap female artist, very important and influential in that area. And, and you know, again, cat's out of the bag on that. Barn door is already open. Whatever analogy you want to make, rap artists have been inducted. They're in the rock hall. You know, can have that argument whether rap belongs in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame at all, but it, it's there. And, you know, I mean, that has been one of, one of the most important, I guess, musical trends in popular music the last 30, 40 years. 30, yeah, 30 years, I should say. Uh, and, and, you know, it has a lot of cross-pollination and influence there. So Kate Bush... So happy to see her in there. I think she is a brilliant, she's a genius, brilliant artist. I don't care that it took some fluke, <laughs> you know, you know, sort of rediscovery of, of one of her songs through Stranger Things, you know, whatever it took. I mean, she's awesome. The Spinners, I dig the Spinners. I, yeah, I, I don't know how. I, I mean, they have inducted a lot of those R and B you know, artists, as they should, who've had a huge influence on rock artists as well. Although the Spinners were more in the 70s, if I remember, sort of beyond that original era where they were really doing a lot of influencing of rock artists. But I like the Spinners. I mean, you know, I'm not going to argue against them. And Rage Against the Machine. Never been a fan, but I can appreciate some of their innovation, musicianship. I, I, I just think there are certain artists who aren't in that you know need to be in first, but I, I, I can't really argue against them. So the only one that I, I still have a problem with, and I did when we you know I did the nominations video, is Cheryl Crow. She's she's the last one in, in that performers category to get in. Nothing against her as an artist. I, I think she's had a fine, respectable career. Some 
good tunes, great tunes. That's not enough. I mean, there are a lot of artists who you could say that about that I don't think are rock hall level. I mean, that's just not enough. I, I don't see the innovation. I don't see the influence. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I, I find her to be kind of the weakest link there. Is that interesting? You look at who who was nominated but on the outside. Take a look at this alternative list. You know, the seven that didn't make it in. Cindy Lauper, who, I mean, if, if you're going to have like, a, you know, an important female artist in rock pop, I put Cindy Lauper over Cheryl Crow easily. Um, I think more important, more influential. Warren Zevon, I was shocked he didn't get in. As much as the Rock Hall loves sort of the singer songwriter types. Uh, <laughs> this one, Joy Division slash New Order. I've been waiting for their nomination for years. They were finally nominated. I assume they would go in, but you know what? You know, it's taken some of these really big '80s artists more than one nomination to get in. So, you know, they'll, they'll go in eventually. I think the White Stripes. I find that kind of borderline. Although I think Jack White deserves to go in in some capacity. But Tribe Called Quest. Um, Again, a little bit outside of my wheelhouse, but from what I understand, very influential. And again, if you're if you're allowing rap and all of that in hip hop, sure. Iron Maiden, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, why they aren't in a, a pillar of an important genre should be kind of automatic. But uh, yeah, Iron Maiden. I mean, hopefully they'll get in eventually. And Soundgarden, who yeah, you know, I, I think will be in at some point as well. So anyway, those are the performers. I'll tell you who what, what I was more impressed with, though, is some of these side categories that I was pretty happy with. So in the musical excellence category, so these are these aren't picked by the larger voting body, right? These are the specialized committees at the Rock Hall. It's a little unclear or less clear how these are chosen. But I think some good choices this year. The musical excellence category, Shaka Khan who they've, and they do this sometimes, they kind of backdoor some artists. They've nominated her with Rufus and Alone multiple times, and then they've just decided to kind of backdoor her in the, in the musical excellence category. It's fine. Al Cooper, who has been, I, I think it's his excellent use of this category. Not a huge artist in his own right, but he's been involved in a lot of great music and a lot, you know, working with Bob Dylan to, you know, all kinds of stuff. What I find kind of interesting is Bernie Taupin, you know, Elton John's songwriting partner, a lyric writer. Eh, I mean, obviously an important part of the Elton John story and Elton's in, so maybe it makes sense. I, when they, when they inducted Elton John, I, I, maybe they should have just done Elton and Bernie at that same time, just put them in together, but you know, whatever. On the musical influence category, there's G DJ Cool Herc, who, again, out of my wheelhouse, from what I understand, very important uh, in his genre. But, man, if you go back and look at my snubs video I did, you know, I think I did the top 10 snubs from the Rock Hall, who should be in but aren't. I'll, I'll just I'll spoil it for you if you didn't go watch that video. My number one pick was Link Ray. A criminal that he wasn't in there. Anybody who's ever picked up an electric guitar was influenced by Link Ray, whether they know it or not. And they finally did the right thing. He is he got he got chosen this year in the musical influence category, which I think is the perfect use of that category because he massive influence so link gray finally in and then finally the the amit erdogan uh, award which is usually given to people who aren't musicians themselves but are very important in the industry they chose don cornelius which i think is perfect you know, for that award so bravo there so yeah the, these side categories i think were in some ways maybe more successful than the the, the the performer category that a lot of us pay attention to, but I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this class of 2023? I mean, do you not care at all, which a lot of people say about the rock hole? I care. I've always followed it. I 
I appreciate what the mission should be. I think I appreciate it because, you know, I'm, I'm, I kind of do history for a living. So history plus my music. So I, I like the idea of preserving the history of this great music. I, like everyone else, has huge complaints about how things are conducted with the hall. But, yeah, so so I do care. But I don't know. You guys, you, in the comments, let's talk about it. Either you don't care or, or what do you think of this list of inductees? <laughs> Was the list of the, the seven who are on the outside more impressive than the seven who got in? Yes, what do, what do you guys think? Let's talk rock hall. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Probably won't mention the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame again until I kind of circle back around when the next group of nominees are, are announced. We'll get back to that. So uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We really appreciate it. It helps us do what we want to do and like the videos and hit the bell for notifications. You know the drill. And we'll see you guys next time.